So the question is, when does the last third of the night start? And alhamdulillah, the answer to that is not that complicated, but it depends. It if you're having any type of problem in your life, the answer lies in Qiyamul Layl. If a person, a believer is trying to repent to Allah, they're trying to turn a new leaf, then their answer lies in Qiyamul Layl. If a, if a believer is fearful about their soul, and this is a lot of us where we fear for our souls that we're about to fall into some type of sin, we're about to be tempted or tested or tried, pray Qiyamul Layl. The answer is in Qiyamul Layl. If you want to build for your Akhirah, if you want to build and, and establish your, your Akhirah, so that when you show up on the Day of Judgment, you're successful, look for the provisions in Qiyamul Layl. A believer takes that spiritual time and they take that emotional time and they devote it to their Lord. And one of the things that the scholars often talk about is that the night is a testimony of a person's love. So whatever a person loves, you'll see that they'll usually devote their night to that. So if a person's only concern in life is to have fun and party and maximize pleasure, they'll spend their night trying to do that. If a person's concern is their afterlife and their love for Allah, then they will spend their night in concern about their akhirah. And the Prophet ﷺ, first of all, he told us that after the five mandatory prayers, meaning after our five daily prayers, the best prayer for us is the night prayer. And we know the Prophet ﷺ told us that it is the last third of the night where Allah ﷺ comes down to the lowest parts of the heaven and he asks, he says, which one of my servants is seeking my forgiveness that I may forgive them? And which one of my servants is seeking my mercy that I may be merciful, merciful for them? Which one of my servants is asking of me that I may give to them? So all I'm saying is wake up 10 minutes before Fajr. Not an hour, not two hours before Fajr. 10 minutes before Fajr. And try and pray Qiyamul Layl. And experience this amazing spiritual nature that Allah Azza wa has given us. This blessing that Allah Azza wa has given us. And when you get up in the night, number one, you'll see your heart transform. You'll feel your heart unlike you've ever felt it before. And I know a lot of us, and this is a problem which is very, very common, where we look at Islam and all we see is a bunch of things we have to do. And, and we're missing that spiritual side of Islam. We're missing that connection with Allah. And I tell you that if you're seeking that connection, then get up and pray Qiyamul Layl. You will see your heart transform. You will see this tranquility and peace that Islam is supposed to be. Get up for 10 minutes and you will see that peace and tranquility descend upon you. The lives of the companions were not easy by any means. They went through immense tests and trials, but if you look at their lives, their lives were absolutely beautiful. And the question is how? How were their lives so beautiful? What did they have that we don't? And you see, it's the spiritual nature that they had that we're just missing. We just don't have that. And so we look at these tests and these trials and these hardships in life and we crumble and, we, and we're crushed and we can't move forward because we're missing that connection with Allah. We've never prayed Qiyamul Layl. We never tried that. We never had that experience. And the Prophet ﷺ said that the example of night prayer to the day prayer is like the example of a person giving charity in public and a person hiding their charity. The satisfaction you feel in your heart when you know you're not doing it for anyone but Allah That is the night prayer. That is the, the training that the night prayer gives us. So the question is, when does the last third of the night start? And alhamdulillah, the answer to that is not that complicated, but it depends. It depends on where you are and it depends on when the night starts and when the night ends depending on your location. So in order to calculate the last third of the night, we need to figure out, first of all, uh, when the night starts, when the night ends, and how many hours there are in the night. So Islamically, the night starts at Maghrib time, and the night ends at Fajr time. So let's say you're in a place where Maghrib comes in at 8 p.m. We would say that's the start of the night. And then Fajr comes in at 5 a.m. We would say that's the end of the night. And now the first thing that we do is that we figure out how many hours are from 8 p.m. to 5 a.m., which would be nine hours. So we'd say the night is nine hours long. A third of that is three hours, and follow along with me, this math is inshallah ta'ala not too complicated, but a third of nine hours is three hours. So we would say three hours is a third of the night. We simply look at Fajr now, we said Fajr is at 5 a.m., and three hours before that is when the last third of the night starts. So in this case, that would be 2 a.m.